Ugly sweaters are second only to fruitcakes on the list of dreaded Christmas gifts. But these days, uh, the garments are scooped up almost as soon as they're discarded. Dave Crawley reports on the ugly sweater craze. Ever feel out of place? Well, don't. <laughs> ugly is in when it comes to Christmas sweaters. We confirmed that at the North Hills Goodwill store. This one actually jingles. It's got the little bells on it. Isn't that cute? Folks with a passion for glittery fashion snap up discarded Christmas sweaters almost as soon as they're hung on the rack. If you want jingle bells on it, something that jingles, or just something that just, just plain old ugly, you know. Some of them want a cute ugly sweater, so we do have cute ugly ones too. <laughs> Prices range from five to fifteen dollars. I'll wear anything if it makes the story better. I mean, let's face it, uh, well, almost everything. We save them up all year at the Goodwills. Uh, we put them out around this time um, to help people with their ugly sweater parties. Store manager Michael Gettle says customers like to add their own cheesy touches to make the sweater more personal. When I was first approached about it, people were asking me if this is ugly, and I'm like, no, that looks great. <laughs> and then I found out about ugly Christmas sweater parties, and I'm like, oh, that thing's hideous. I've had people asking for them since the day after Halloween. I've seen everything. People have glued things on, made reindeer out of styrofoam cups, and I mean, it, it, anything you can imagine, they fly out of here. Yeah, people love their Christmas sweaters. It's all these ugly Christmas sweater season. Some of us will spare no expense. All the gold, it's just, it's just very impressive. Looks very, very expensive. Very and especially, expensive. Especially since you have the tag sticking out so nicely. <laughs> Best of all, the recipient is likely to recycle the tacky attire to, yes, goodwill, to be sold all over again. With a gift that keeps on giving and giving, I'm Dave Crawley.